Hello everyone, welcome to a foreigner farming in the Philippines. Didn't get anything done yesterday because it rained all day. And today, of course, it's Valentine's Day. And we're going to go down and have a, a day off down in Lebok. That young man right there, you know, we had no workers Monday and Tuesday. And of course, now today we do. I guess he doesn't have a girlfriend. Um, I just instructed that he uh, loosen this soil all along this bank here because uh, this is what we're going uh, to need to use to transfer over into these rows here. I'm going to make sure he knows to come all this way. Well, it can't really come all this way because the, the uh, edge of the canal is right here. So really right here is as far as he come. I don't want it to be, I don't want that bank of the canal to be too thin, so this is actually trimmed up just about right here. We're going to have to move this banana tree. Yeah, something else we need to do is do an entire cleaning on this little area right here, this flat spot. So if these bananas have uh, a little air to breathe. These onions are looking good, so we'll have we'll have a good amount to transplant when we get these end rows here the way that we want them. Don't know how how far we'll get to planting all this side in onions with what we've got, but we shall see. I'm gonna go down here and check. There's supposed to be cleaning going on down here as well. We still haven't got the from here, the left side of this field completed. By this corn here. You know, these beans are all up. I don't think there's a single gap in the planting out there. Had really good germination here. Corn is loving the fertilizer we gave it, except for that last little part of that row right there. That might need to be fertilized again. And we got a bunch of replants to do here. But that's probably not going to be for about 10 days, maybe two weeks, until we do the replants here. Because I want to make sure that the plants that we replant are large and viable. All this corn that we planted in this field here has come up. That's all corn there. We're continuing on with the cleaning here. All the rest of this needs to be finished. Progress. I wanted to show you what's going on here. I mean, the, all the flowers from this squash here, it looks like a, more like a flower garden than a squash garden. But I'll take it. I'm happy. So we're going to be getting a lot of squash out of this area right here. I never noticed this, this thick, this intense, this intense amount of blooms on what we have up by the house. And it goes all the way back in there. So we've got a large area of squash here that uh, I don't notice any fruit yet. If I walked around out in there, I probably could. But I don't want to disturb anything. It's unfortunate we had so much rain yesterday and the bees couldn't fly. But today, I don't know. We'll see. It's only partly cloudy 
it rained about an hour ago but only for about 10 minutes so we shall see actually there's a little squash starting right there it's just unfortunate that about half of what we planted was basically swamped out wow i take it back look at that one right there there's a big one right there I almost stepped on it all that area back in there and honestly i haven't even gone up in there and looked i can see one flower from here so maybe what we've planted up in there is doing better because it's much higher but i have noticed that that is that soil back in there retains the water well also so i don't know we it's hard to say maybe we've only lost about 50 percent of what we planted i was thinking maybe we'd lost 70 but we planted so many squash in here. If half of them make it, I think we're going to do all right. I planted a whole can of them, almost a thousand plants. So, and they all came up, but we lost a bunch down there in that little bog right down here. So we shall see. But I'm pleased so far. All right, I'm up in this higher, up in this higher area here. Uh, I'm about probably an elevation. I'm probably close to five or six feet higher than those fields down there. But as you can see, there's standing water right there. So that's indicative of how this soil just does not perk. That's the general overall problem on this farm this is one of the red bananas here we've got red bananas all in this row here and they just have never been that prolific but this squash here has blooms on it so hopefully we're going to get some squash out of this as well so we lost about half of what we planted up on this little hill as well that area over there, the extra saturated part. But there's blooms over here, so we'll be getting squash over here. <laughs> 